Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. US EV sales grow by 65%, despite overall auto market decline in 2022. Tesla and Polestar EVs to be offered to Uber drivers in Europe. Tesla's California virtual power plant has quietly ramped to an estimated 5,700 homes. And, Tesla increases the price of its home charging station by 20%. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Sales of electric vehicles in the United States grew by 65% in 2022 despite a decline in total new vehicle sales for the first time since 2011, new data shows. New data from Kelly Blue Book shows that for the first time in just over a decade, Americans bought fewer new cars than the year before. However, EV sales grew year over year by a significant margin, by 65%. Electric vehicle sales tipped 800,000 units and will likely continue to expand for years to come. Cox Automotive suggests EV unit sales will expand once again, and 2023 will be the first year that EVs will be sold over 1 million times. Surged by government incentives like President Biden's Inflation Reduction Act, which intends to push consumers toward EVs, 2023 could be the year of the electric car. With many manufacturers planning to roll out exciting and competitive models this year, one thing remains, that Tesla still remains the EV king of the United States. Despite a slight decrease in market share from 70% in Q1 to 58.3% in Q4, Tesla still dominates the US EV market. Over the past few years, many companies have come with competitive and more affordable options, but car buyers are still tending to stick with Tesla, based on EV tech, charging infrastructure, and performance. Tesla is off to a hot start in 2023. After cutting prices in the US market by as much as $13,000, demand seems to have increased, as the company's inventory is dwindling. The Model 3 and Model Y were the automaker's best sellers. Some more positive news comes behind the average cost of an electric vehicle, which fell 5.5% last month, to $61,448. Moving to the next update, Tesla and Polestar EVs to be offered to Uber drivers in Europe. Hertz has announced its plans to provide up to 25,000 all-electric vehicles for rental to Uber drivers in European capitals by 2025. The program would offer popular electric vehicles like the Tesla Model 3. The rental program is expected to start this month in London, and over 10,000 all-electric vehicles from Tesla and Polestar will be made available for drivers by 2025. The program is also expected to expand to other European capitals, with a total of 25,000 EVs available for rental by mid-decade. Amsterdam and Paris are expected to see similar programs this year. Uber has noted that the car rental program with Hertz will include the Tesla Model 3 and the Polestar 2. Pricing details would be made available once the program launches in London, as noted in an Automotive News Europe report. The ride-hailing company has noted that pricing for the program will be competitive with other rentals currently offered through Uber partners in the UK. The program will include insurance and maintenance. Uber drivers in London will not be required to pay congestion or emission zone charges as well. Uber added that London is currently its top European city for electric vehicles. The ride-hailing giant stated that over 7,000 zero-emission vehicles are currently driving 15% of the company's miles in London. This is not the first time that Hertz partnered with Uber to provide all electric vehicles like the Tesla Model 3 and Polestar 2 for ride-hailing drivers. Previously, Hertz committed to providing 50,000 Tesla rentals to Uber drivers in the United States. The program benefits the goals of both Hertz and Uber. Hertz wishes to create one of the largest EV rental fleets in the world, and Uber is aiming to become a zero-emission platform in Europe and North America by 2030. The strategy seems successful so far, with the two companies stating on Tuesday that almost 50,000 Uber drivers in the United States have rented a Tesla. 
These drivers have completed more than 24 million fully electric trips, which translates to about 260 million miles. Moving to the next update, Tesla's California Virtual Power Plant has quietly ramped to an estimated 5,700 homes. Tesla's California Virtual Power Plant VPP, has been growing quietly in the background, and its growth since the middle of 2022 has been substantial. As per data tracked by the EV community, it would appear that the California VPP has grown to over 5,700 homes from both PG&D and Social Edison customers. A virtual power plant allows multiple homes to band together as a way to support the grid when needed. In the case of the California VPP, the system is comprised of homes that are equipped with Tesla Powerwall batteries and solar panels. During times when the grid needs support, the VPP could be tapped to provide energy. As per an active tracker of the California Virtual Power Plant on last bulb, there have been 10 events between August 17, 2022, and September 9, 2022, where the system was tapped to support the grid. Overall, the tracker estimates that approximately 577 megawatt hour was contributed by the system during grid events in 2022, which is quite impressive for a pilot program. Overall, each home that took part during the grid events last year seemed to have contributed an average of approximately 15 kilowatt hours to the grid per event. This is quite manageable, especially if the grid events happen during times when a home's Powerwall batteries were also storing energy from solar panels. Overall, last bulb estimates that the system was able to provide approximately 84 megawatt hour of potential backup energy per event. It would be interesting to see just how much better the California Virtual Power Plant would perform in the next grid events. During the last tracked grid event on September 9th, after all, the VPP was estimated to have been comprised of just 4,600 homes. By the end of the year, the system is estimated to have grown about 20% to 5,721 homes. With a larger fleet, Tesla's California Virtual Power Plant could truly provide a meaningful amount of energy to support the state's grid. Moving to the last update, Tesla increases the price of its home charging station by 20%. Tesla has increased the price of its home charging station by 20% after several price drops made it the cheapest option available. Last year, Tesla surprised many by announcing that it is opening its EV charge connector with the aim of making it the new standard in North America. The automaker is challenging the J1772CCS combo connector, which has been adopted by virtually all other automakers selling vehicles in North America in the hope that its sleeker and more powerful design will win by force of sheer numbers. Tesla dominates the EV market in America to such a degree that even though all other automakers currently selling EVs on the market are using the J1772CCS connector, there are still more EVs in North America using the Tesla connector, now known as the North American Charging Standard NAX. Following the opening of the connector, Tesla has been making some moves to push its charging station, also known as Tesla Wall Connector. For example, Tesla started selling its wall connector at Best Buy last year, instead of only through its own website. Tesla also significantly decreased the price of the charging station over the years. The Tesla wall connector was already cheap for a 48-amp, level 2 home charging station at $400, but Tesla dropped the price to $350 in December. Just a month later, Tesla has now decided to increase the price by more than 20% to $425 on its website. The price has also gone up to $425 on Best Buy which appears to be carrying the Tesla wall connector in inventory, based on the short delivery time. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.